All right, guys, so I just messed up big. I messed up very, very, very big. And what I mean by this is that I just accidentally killed the Dr. Disrespect, the actual real Dr. Disrespect. Now, in this video, I will be showing you a clip from my point of view of me actually killing or accidentally killing the real Dr. Disrespect. I will not only be showing you a clip from my point of view, I will also be showing you a clip from the doctor's point of view from the doc from the Dr. Disrespect stream itself. Now guys, a little information before I actually start showing you the clips. Earlier today, I was watching Dr. Disrespect. In fact, I still have Dr. Disrespect stream running in the background. And yes, I am a subscriber. I'm a huge fan of the doctor. Now, while I was watching the doctor, he died, he got killed, and I decided, you know what, I'm in the mood for some H1Z1 myself. And then I decide to join a five-man BR because I'm bored, and really, I want to play some H1Z1. And I wasn't doing duos at the time because my friend Kevin, or Hot and Sluggish, the guy I usually play with, wasn't on at all. So I decided to play this five-man BR. So guys, at this point, I am not paying attention to the game at all. I am not watching the Dr. Disrespect stream. It is paused in the background. I am on my phone looking at my new logos uh, for my new channel or my new channel art. I'm looking at my new channel art and stuff like that. Absolute freak. So I'm looking at it for a long time. I don't notice the lobby startup. I just stand there like an idiot. I don't notice the lobby startup at all. And then we start falling in. And I don't notice that either until a little bit later. And then I finally notice it and I finally start playing. So I start landing in. All right, so once I notice the game has actually begun and I'm landing in, I decide to actually land in and I start looking for a place to land in. Now, at this point, I'm not looking for my team because I realize I got a late start and my team's probably gone at that point. So I decide to land at some trailers near the residential area, hoping some weapons will be there. Now, I decide to start talking in game to see if anybody's there. Uh, I am playing Lane Gao. And when I play Lang Gao, I pretend to be Asian because I know it pisses people off. And sometimes it's real funny what they say to me. So I'm like, hello, anybody there? And I don't get a response. Lang Gao. Until the doctor talks. And I didn't notice it was him. And then I say, hello? Where are you from, Lang Gao? And then the doctor asks where I'm from. And I say, America. And I ask, where is he from? And he says, Korea. he's from Korea. And I say, Anayasuyo. And he starts speaking fake Asian. And if you listen carefully, you could tell it's the doc. And then he asked for my shotgun. So I shoot him. Because at this point, I thought it was somebody imitating the doc, making fun of him. And nobody imitates the doc around me. Nobody makes fun of the doc around me because I will kill them. I even kill my friend, my friend that I know in real life. I'll kill him in game if he talks shit about the doc. So I look over to my right and I see Lang Gao on the doctor's screen. And I realized what the fuck I just did. I noticed that he's playing with someone named Lang Gao. The stream's paused and I noticed what I just did. And when I turn on the stream to actually watch it, all I see is this. Shotgun. Thank you. All right, guys, so let's watch these events unfold from the doctor's point of view. Now, keep in mind, this is from Dr. Disrespect's actual stream, so let's take a look. All right, here we go. Here comes the doctor. He's landing in You're right now. You're seeing your with a $100 donation. And he talks about a donation received, so My he goes to God. search this house. And he tries to take off his boots, but he can't because the game's broken, and he gets upset. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're such idiots over there. I'm telling you. And he runs out and he gets shot at by that guy. All right. All right. So he jukes the guy, breaks his ankles, and he takes off. And while he's running through this backyard, you could hear me talk in my Langau voice. Hello? Hello? Who that? <laughs> Hello? And nobody responds, as in my video. And finally, the doctor responds while he's running up this hill. Lango. 
I respond. Bye -bye. Where are you from, Lingo? And he asks where I'm from, and I say America. Uh, the United States, where are you from? And I ask where he's from, and then he responds... Korea. With Korea. Hi, yes, and I say hello in Korean. Come on, mama. Come to mama, mama. <laughs> and he starts speaking fake Asian. And I'm shredding up a shirt here. And I, that's why uh, I'm standing still. Come to mama, I may, uh, shotgun? And he asks for the shotgun. So, I give it to him. <laughs> Thank you. And then he says thank you. The doctor is such a good sport, dude. Now keep in mind, guys, I killed the doctor by 100% accident. I did not think it was really him uh, because I thought it was some Asian person impersonating him. The, the way it sounded to me didn't sound like the doctor. If you listen closely, it did, but it didn't sound like the doctor. I thought it was somebody impersonating the doctor, making fun of the doctor. So I shot them because no one makes fun of the doctor. And the Doctor Disrespect is by far one of my favorite streamers of all time. He's my favorite online personality. I get notified every time he goes live, anytime he streams, and I try to watch it for 5 or 10 minutes or however long I have. Sometimes I watch the entire stream if I have the time. And I absolutely love Doctor Disrespect and think he's amazing. He inspires me. He has motivated me when I've had no motivation and stuff like that. He's made me laugh and smile at the worst point in my life when I didn't think I was going to make it, uh, which was recently. And the doctor helped me through those dark times. And he helps a lot of people through dark times through his, you know, content, through making people laugh and smile and making people feel good and stuff like that. Now, my dreams of playing with Dr. Disrespect have probably evaporated at this point. I killed the doctor and, you know, my dreams of actually getting up to play a full game with the doctor actually going for the win probably have been crushed i'll probably never never ever get to play with dr disrespect and that kind of sucks because it's been my dream to play with them for a long time uh especially when i started creating uh h1z1 content i was like you know what i want to play with the doctor one day and hopefully me and him could be friends in real life but obviously i just kind of messed that chance up um but you know even though I messed that dream up, some things good did come from it. And the two good things that came from it is that, one, I got to play with a doctor, even if it was only for a minute. And I'm happy with that. Even if it was, I killed him by accident, even though we didn't have a real conversation, I got to talk to the doctor and I got to kill the doctor by accident and I got to play with the doctor for a little bit even though it was only for a minute and how many people could say that they not only played with the doctor talked to the doctor and killed the doctor not many people could actually say that now the second thing that good that came out of this is that I made the chat laugh that through my actions somebody laughed and in the chat they went crazy they started typing lol and ha 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 because people thought it was funny So that's probably the best thing to come out of this, that I made some people laugh, that I made some people smile. I bought a little joy to someone's life and that means so much to me. If I can make one person smile, if I can make, you know, one person happy, if I could bring a little joy to one person's life, it, it, it really does mean the world to me. And I was able to do that by accidentally killing Dr. Disrespect and that's pretty awesome I think. But my dreams of probably playing with them are gone. Uh, Doc, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to kill you. Um, I want to say thank you, Doc, for everything you do and that you're an amazing person. Um, anyways, guys, that's all I got for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. Anyways, I hope to see you guys right back here tomorrow. And remember, stay freaky. Oh, and one more thing, if you guys can't tell, the doctor does truly inspire me. If you look at my channel art, you can actually tell it has the, that retro look, which I took away from him. Not only did I take it away from him, I uh, he inspired me to do that kind of retro look. Me, personally, I have always loved the retro look myself, and the doctor, you know, kind of inspired me to do it even more with my new uh, channel, Absolute Freak. So, yeah. Just adding that in there. Anyways, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, hope to see you guys right back here tomorrow. And remember, stay freaky.
Thank you.